Hey, this is Andrew Reversa with Impact Soundworks, and today I'm going to be showcasing our new Sonic Ocean virtual instrument. Now, earlier this year, in 2016, we released a little sound design library called Sonic Forest, and this is going to seem very familiar if you've used Sonic Forest. In fact, if I scroll down here, you can see that the interface is basically the same as Sonic Forest, but what we have here is a different theme, and then we have all new sound sources powering it. What we have here is a boutique sound design library that's ideal for any kind of atmospheric, ambient music, film, TV scores, underscore, new age, sort of ambient electronic stuff, anything like that. It's very good for that kind of music. The sound sources are all a mix of acoustic, synthetic, and then actually water sounds that have been hybrid morphed and designed and processed into all new sounds, both tonal, atonal, and percussive. Before I get into the interface more, let me just play some of the sound sources. There are 24 that come with the instrument in total, and you can switch them using the key switches down here. So that's just to give you an idea of some of the sound sources that come with the instrument. And as I go through the patches a little bit later in the video, you're gonna hear more of them and what they can sound like when you layer them together. But for now, I wanna go over the interface. If you've used Sonic Forest, this is all going to be, again, very familiar because it's the same interface and the same engine, but with a different theme. Now, before we get to this stuff up here, which is really the meat and the soul of the instrument, just real quick, let's go over the things in the settings area. So we have basic tune transposition, sample offset. So for example, if I hit a note and then move the offset, we can cut off some of the attack of the sound. There's also volume and pitch envelope, which lets you do all sorts of neat effects. And we have a micro tuning table here and you've seen this probably in some of our other instruments by now, uh, basically you select a root key. So here we have C, but you could do any key you want. And then you can set a tuning offset for each step of the scale. So if we're in C, then we can offset C by 39 cents, and then C sharp by 21, and maybe D is down, and so on and so forth. Then we have an arpeggiator. So let me pick a sound that works well with that. We'll switch over to the arpeggiator, turn it on. And of course, it's also a polyphonic sequencer or arpeggiator. And then you can alter the parameters like the sync, as well as the swing. So we slow this down a bit. And if you turn off tempo sync, then you can set this to a specific millisecond value, which you might want to do. This stuff is all pretty standard, but let's get to the fun part, which is this up here. So we'll turn off the arpeggiator again. We'll hit a note and then press the sail button. What this does is it takes the last played sound at the exact velocity, volume, and pitch you played it at, and it feeds it into a granular engine. And this is really the, the very wondrous part of both Sonic Forest and Sonic Ocean is the ability to take a simple sound and then turn it into this beautiful evolving texture.
The knobs on the left and right will alter the sound based on, if we click the info button, uh, these different parameters here. So for example, if we turn down the volume, this will turn down the dry signal. And we only get the wet stuff, which is the waves uh, creatively named. And drops will control pitched echoes. So if you play a chord here, that feeds the effect back into itself. We can also alt click, which will make the waves into fifths as well. And the rest of the controls do all sorts of interesting things. I'll just run through them quickly. Tides will control the randomness where each grain is selected from in the sample waveform. So this will be a bit more random. And this will be a bit less. It's a subtle effect and it depends on the sound source. Depth and flood will wash out the sound with reverb. Flow and current are related because they control the speed of the ocean. So if we turn down flow, it gives each grain a little bit more of a chance to breathe, and then current controls the chaos of the waves. It can get very fast, indeed. Surface and submerge control the frequency spectrum, so if I play a low chord, that can shape both the high and the low frequencies. Freeze controls how sharp each grain is or whether there's some softness to the attack. You'll notice as I'm using each of these knobs and controls, the image in the middle changes. This is not itself a control, but it's just sort of a beautiful and inspiring visual for you. And lastly, Ripple will fade out the waves as the key is held. If you have it at zero, it will never fade out. If you turn it all the way up, it'll fade quite quickly. Splash will randomize all of the controls. And then reverse will reverse the waves as they're played back. Another neat feature here is that you can layer sound sources together. So if I pick additive waves, and then I want to layer it with an acoustic source, like anchor stones. These sounds can be processed further with the effects rack. And this is again, common in a lot of our instruments, but very useful here. You can throw on a delay, maybe scoop out some of the low frequencies. And now let's sail this combination of sounds. And so as you can see, the combinations that you can get just by layering different sound sources together and adjusting the ocean and the effects, it really is endless and it's a lot of fun to play with. Sonic Ocean is available now for contact for just $25 and 20% of each sale is going to go to the Clean Water Fund, a completely nonprofit charity, one of the highest rated that focuses on water conservation 
clean drinking water policies that protect oceans and our water supply, which uh, we think is very important. You can listen to more demos and pick up the library in the description below. We have the link there. And I want to just end the video by playing a bunch of the presets so you can hear some of the things that come with the library to inspire you. This has been Andrew Aversa, and I hope you enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.